Good morning. It's Good News Friday. I have a fantastic story from Germany and a good one from Sweden. Uh, first, some short ones. Klaus Schwab suffered his third heart attack. That's the rumor. It could be true. I just had to tell you about it. I'm so sorry, Klaus. Maybe you should go to Canada. I know a lot of people are criticizing you now for what you have been doing. Go to Canada. They can help you there. They have this law there, you see. Look up this guy, Justin Trudeau, your friend. Maybe he can arrange something. Uh, here's an apology. This is a doctor in, I think, United States. Molly Rutherford. She says, I apologize for ever recommending the tea for anyone. I should have known better. I'm thankful I never got it, she says. But I'm also seriously concerned about people who did. I want to see more of this. I'm starting to see more of this. I want to see a lot of it. People apologizing. Well, that's a good start. All right, uh, I also want to mention this. I was watching this uh, very funny video this morning. You know, I appreciate these people. They spend time putting these things together and then they add music to it. So this was uh, top politicians, people like Boris Johnson, uh, Macron, Angela Merkel, how they are putting on the mask and how they remove it in certain uh, circumstances. And of course we know it was all an act, this thing with the mask. These top politicians, they knew this was bullshit, that it didn't work. But it's funny. It's funny to watch them. And when they put a video together like this, it's just great. So I'll put a link below so you can watch it if you want. Short one. All right, so the main story is from Sweden here. Uh, you know, we have a new government and things are changing. I didn't think I would say this, but it is. It's a better government we have now. All right, so this is about a rape case. We have so many of them, it's ridiculous here in Sweden. This is uh, four guys from Eritrea. In June, they raped a 30-year-old lady in Flemingsberg. This is a suburb of Stockholm. And these assholes, they filmed the thing with their smartphones. Right. So this came to court, and this is the change. The prosecutor, a male prosecutor, he said, these guys should be sent back to Eritrea and they shouldn't be allowed back for 15 years. And maybe you think I'm joking, but this is not how it used to be at all. Usually the prosecutor would, said, would say, no, this, it would be cruel if you send them back. We should keep them here in Sweden, and keep them safe, protect them, take care of them. That's what it used to be like here. And I'm pretty sure about this. This is about the new government. It changes things, you know. I'm very pleased about this. Right, finally this amazing story from Germany. It's about a Red Cross nurse, Antje T, 39 years old. She was working at the center where people came to get the tea. See? in Friesland, northwest Germany. And she was in charge of the preparation of the tea. And she replaced the tea. Right. So uh, she replaced it with salt water solution. So people came there to drink the tea and instead they got salt water solution. Up to 8,600 people got the salt water solution. She did it. And this was mainly hospital employees. This happened in March 
and April in 2021. Yeah, hospital employees up to the age of, above the age of 70. And she came to court and she was given a sentence, just six months of on probation, on probation. Of course, she didn't hurt anyone. Right. So they basically told her, oh, this was not good, don't do it again. You know? Fantastic story. You know, I believe that this lady, Antje, T, that's all I have on her, uh, she will be a legend in the future. Maybe a saint, see? Quite soon. Possibly. What a fantastic lady. Alright, I wish you a great weekend. Be good.